All right, just a quick reminder, we have already discussed the importance of flipping our piece to reveal the right side as soon as it naturally starts to curve. Now take your crocheted piece and flip it inside out. In other words, reverse it so that the side that was initially on the inside is now turned to face the outside. If the yarn tail happens to be too long, you can trim it with your scissors. This way you can easily tuck it inside the piece preparing it for the sewing process. Do not cut the yarn tail too short as we do not want to accidentally unravel our work. In this part of the tutorial, we'll be attaching one 3D piece to another between rows nine to 10. Remember we placed the eyes between round eight and nine, so I can easily identify rows nine to 10. And our piece should be centered between the eyes. If you need extra reference, feel free to count from the top. Just keep in mind that every ring of stitches that you see is considered a round. So for our attachment, we are targeting round 9 and 10. So let's take a quick count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our piece will be attached at around here. All right, now we have our 3D piece in our non-dominant hand and we have our yarn needle in our dominant hand. Now let's make sure that the yarn tail is out of our way so it's nice and secure inside of our piece. And now we are ready to sew our piece on the body of our plushie. All right, now we have our yarn needle in our dominant hand and we are holding on to the piece with our non-dominant hand. We also want to be holding on to our piece the entire time. Now, once we have decided our placement, we can identify which hole our yarn tail, the yarn that is coming out of our piece, is aligned with. And this is exactly where we'll be inserting our needle. Now, insert your needle in that hole and take it out one stitch away, following the rim of your piece. Every time you take your needle out, make sure to give it a little tug to secure the piece in the right position. Now we can see that our yarn tail came out of this hole and that hole is lined up with this horizontal V right here. Now insert your needle under the both loops of that horizontal V. Now pull the yarn tail out and give it a nice tug. Next, we are going to be inserting our needle back into that same spot it just came out of. And you can easily spot that as you can see the yarn coming out of that hole. Then move it one stitch over, following the rim of your piece, and take your needle out. Pull on the yarn to tighten, and then identify the next horizontal V that the needle will go under. Again, the horizontal V need to be aligned with the spot that our yarn tail is coming out of. Now take your needle out and pull on the yarn to tighten it. Just make sure to follow the rim as you do this to securely attach your piece to your plushie. Repeat this sequence all the way around your piece and remember to give it a little tug every single time you complete the stitch to keep it nice and snug.
All right, once we are done with the round, we can see that our yarn tail is sticking out of this hole right here. What we want to do is insert our needle back into the same exact hole it just came out of. Now push your needles through the entire piece and take it out from the other side of your piece to make sure that your yarn tail gets stuck in the stuffing inside. And once that's done, grab your scissors and trim the yarn tail as close to the surface of the piece as possible. And if you still see a bit of that yarn tail sticking out, just gently massage your piece until it disappears completely. And there you have it. Now you know how to attach a 3D piece to another piece.